हेलो वेलकम टू लेसन थर्टी नाइन पार्शल क्लासेस इन सी शॉप ब्रॉड टू यू बैंक ब्रॉड टेक्नोलॉजीज माई नेम इज हरीश इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न पार्शल क्लासेस एडवांटेजेस और यूजेस ऑफ पार्शल क्लासेस राइट नाउ विल अंडरस्टैंड वॉट पार्शल क्लासेस फर्स्ट पार्शल क्लास अलो हॉस टू स्प्लिट ए क्लास इंटू टू और मोर फाइल्स इफ यू वॉन्ट टू स्प्लिट अ क्लास इंटू टू और मोर फाइल्स देन वी कैन मेक यूज ऑफ पार्शल क्लासेस टू अंडरस्टैंड इट वेरी क्लियरली विल जम्प इन टू विजुअल स्टूडियो एंड वील एक्सप्लोर एट here you can find a console console template and in this project in this console application i'm having a class called customer you can observe here in this application in this program i'm having a class called customer and what this customer class consists of it consists of two fields and two properties and also a method get full name method which returns you the first name as well as the last name keep in mind this piece of class is present in a single file called customer.cs suppose if i want to split my class means if i want to store these two fields and the property in one one single file and the method in another single file then i have to make use of the partial keyword how do i do it it's very simple come to this project and add another two classes okay i'll name my class as partial customer 1 partial customer 1 okay and i would like to add another class because i'm going to divide my class into two single files okay i would like to add and i would like to name it as partial customer 2 okay now what i'll do is i'll come to my partial customer class 1 and i'll rename it as partial customer 1 and i'll come to partial customer 2 and i'll re rename my class as partial customer okay now now if i want to split my class if i want to split this customer class into each single files two single files in each single file I'm, in one single file i'm going to store this properties and the fields and in another single file i'm going to store the method okay now if i want to make use of these two classes as partial what i have to do is first thing i have to mention the partial keyword here how do i do it okay i'll make it public also and i'll control a control kd just to align the things properly i'll press control kd okay here also i have to make use of partial and before that i have to make the class as public okay control a control keep in mind if you want to align lines in the in your program then you have to press control kd okay now now my partial cl two class partial classes are ready what i have to do is i have to come here and i have to think um, which set of whether i have to store these two things in my one class and other thing on the on the method in another class what i'll do is i'll just copy this things like public first name and last name and the this properties in one file that is i am going to store it in public partial class file and the method sorry the method is the get full name in another partial class control c okay i'm sorry here okay okay what what did i do is i'm having a customer class in that customer class i'm having fields properties and method but uh, but my intention is i want to split this class in order to split this class i want to make use of partial keyword so what did i do is i just created two classes partial customer 1 and partial customer 2 and what are the things present in the customer class i'm going to divide them equally that is in one in the partial customer 1 class i'm going to store this part that is properties as well as fields and in the customer 2 class i'm going to store get full name that's what i did here I'm, i've stored the properties and fields in one class and the method in another class so now my intention is once i've split the file now once i've split the file what next what is the next thing i have to do i'll jump back into presentation you can observe here all these parts are then combined into single class when the application is combined it means that i'm storing i'm div i divided the customer class this class into two files but when i compile when i compile the compiler will treat them as single file and it, and it compiles the code so what i'll do is i'll come to my program class and i would like to create an instance of customer class okay you can find the customer class here then i'll like to see this object new customer now uh, using that object what i'll do is i'll access the first name
and last name is like Now I have to print, I have to call the method also, how do I call it? Instead of that what I'll do is I'll just uh, c dot get full name method. Okay. Now I'll assign that. Okay. Instead of passing it directly, I'll assign I'll pass it within the console dot write line such that it will print it on the console screen. Now when I run this program, what it has to do, it has to build successfully and print the full name on the console screen, that is Arish Gauda on the console screen, yes it has done it. But what what is my intention is I want to show you using the partial class whether I am going to cross verify because in the I am having two partial classes where each partial class is having each set of code. But what I said is when I compile the code. When I build the project, what is the compiler going to do? Compiler is going to treat these two partial classes, single class, and it is going to compile. So in order to check that, what I'll do is I'll come to my program.cs and I'll create an instance of partial customer. Okay. Partial customer p equals new partial customer. And when I use p dot first name equals and pro c dot last name equals sorry that is not c it's p I'll just do p dot last name equals technologies okay and console dot right line p dot get full name Now what I'll do is, what did I do? I just created the instance of partial customer, partial customer class, partial customer class. Now what happens is, as as I said you, compiler is going to treat these two partial classes a single class when I compile the code. Now to cross verify it, what did I do is, I just created the instance of partial customer class and I just called the prop properties and assigned the values to them and also I call the method which is present in another partial customer class. Now when I run the program, when I build the program, it should build successfully if the partial is working fine. Okay. Now we can observe it should print Arish Gouda as well as Hank Pro Technologies on the console screen. My file is being scanned. Let's wait for that. Yes, you can observe here Arish Gouda as well as Hank Pro Technologies is printed on the console screen. This is what we expected. Now what did what did we do is we split the customer class into each single file that is partial customer 1 and customer 2 and we we play a set of things in one class one partial class and a set of other things in another class that is in one class we place the properties and fields in another class we place the method but uh, when we compile the compiler treats the two partial classes single file and it provides the output that is the reason it uh, gave us the output on the console screen as expected and jumping back this is what the demo and we'll jump back into presentation here you can observe the partial keyword can also be used to split a struct or interface or two or more files it's like that partial keyword can also be used to split a struct or enum that's it and what is the advantages of using partial class um, here comes the advantage Visual Studio uses, uses partial classes to separate automatically generated system code from the developers code for example when you add a Windows form application to .cs files are generated. Form.cs contains the developer code and form.designer.cs contains the system generated code. Now we'll see a demo of it. Uh, how partial classes plays an important role in, in, in this part. So in order to do that what I'll do I'll go to my console application and I'll create a new project and I'll take the window forms applications to just give you a brief application to just show you a brief application of uh, partial class. I'll take a window form application and I'll name it as uh, Windows Demo. Okay. Form Demo. I'll name it as Form Demo. Okay. Now once I'm done with that, my compile, my Visual Studio is going to generate a template for Form Demo, Windows Form. 
once I'm done with that I'll show you how to do how to understand it it's very simple I'll explain this file you can observe here you can observe here I'm having form one dot designer dot CS and form one dot CS now uh, jumping back into presentation you can observe here form.cs contains the developer code it means this form.cs here is going to contain the developer code whatever we write the code that will be written in this form.cs but coming to form1.designer.cs here form1.designer.cs contains the system generated code it means that in this part we are not going to write any code that code will be generated by the system for example you can observe here right now there are no controls in this in this designer dot class what I'll do is I'll come here come to this form form design I'll using toolbox I would like to add um, okay I'd like to add a text box or whatever it is I'd like to add a list list box I would like to add list box to this uh, form but keep in mind in designer there is no there is no code generated for the list box at the end you can observe here there is no code generated but as soon as as soon as I drop uh, the text box uh, on this form in on this design control you can observe the code will be generated in the form one dot designer dot cs now I have dragged that text box and I will leave here keep an eye on your here, here you can observe here there is a text generated text box generated uh, previously there was no text box but as of now you can observe here the code is generated who has written this code this code is generated by the system itself and not not the developer wrote this code and who is doing this work this work is done by the partial class okay this is what the major application of this is what the major application of partial class in the form.cs we the developers write the code coming here but in the form one dot cs just we dragged and dropped the control automatically the code generated in the form one dot designer dot cs this this type of um, scenario explains you the uses of partial class and that's what we saw we saw the demo here now what we'll do is we'll ju just drag and drop the other control like a list box here and we'll go to designer dot cs and you can observe a list box code is generated and this is what the system generated code here comes the actual scenario of partial class and that is the main advantage of it okay we'll jump back into presentation and the example declaration for the controls that you drag and drop on the windows form that's what we saw now and when working on larger projects spreading a class over separate files allows programmer to work it on simultaneously it means that uh, you're working on brick, brick project and you are working on some class and that class has multiple things to do at that point of time you can distribute the work to each developer by just making the class partial where in one class the developer is going to write the fields methods or whatever it is and another class the developer other developer is going to write the properties constructor or uh, other things that's what the partial classes uses and the advantages thank you for listening have a great day. Please subscribe to Ankro Training below.